evening time, YouTube. We got a little been welding today. Good old Sunday. Welding on the old flat top. Well, on the flatbed on the trailer. Show y'all what we do. Besides that, uh, we are definitely better get the flash. Like, oh, I got it in my pocket. Got it in my pocket. We back under the trailer here. cracked up right there so we welded the cracks under there with that quarter inch plate right there same thing on that side put a gusset right there ran out of oxygen and settling so we'll get that gusset one later on but let me show y'all the issue see how we all cracked up right there Front side ain't bad. That side is bad. Same thing on the back side of the last axle. So, made me a little template of this thing. So I cut that. Both of them are identical. So, on the back side, we don't need this portion right here, so I might just cut it straight from the frame rail over the back side. Let's go around to the back. So it happens when you got old equipment. All right. See, I hit that right there. Then you know it's not the best metal to be welding against. See that burn through it is rotted. But I mean had that one right there, hit the inside of that one. But yeah, I mean It didn't rot it. I mean, but she's holding on now, so as long as she's holding on, I'm gonna patch her up. Keep on riding. So, yeah, that's what we'll be doing. We gotta load the scaffolding. Need to add another strap here. One strap on that one. I don't believe I like it. So we'll add another one here. I'll do that in the morning. But you gotta undo a couple straps to get that one on. So I had this metal here. That's what I've been using. That's what all I got out. A whole bunch of welding and stuff. Man. Y'all know, fabricating and trying to weld shit to straighten out stuff, it's, it's time consuming. This shit takes time. I mean, now here it's at 9 o'clock. I made two brackets. Well, you know what? I take it back because I didn't show y'all what the gunk I had to cut off. I mean, they had shit that just didn't make no sense. They had just little brackets just angled. I mean, short two-inch brackets just angled, and I don't, I don't think that's I don't think that's gonna cut it. So I think that'll hold it right there. Those two brackets that I made, and then uh, 
Um, like I said, I'll put another gusset on there. And we'll get to the backside. I got to get some more gas so I can cut some more out. But this is my little template. Template right here. Beep. Down to the side. Grab a side. So, what I think I'm going to do with the back side is just cut them like that. From there. And then I don't need this angle part here. Ran out of gas. Or ran out of oxygen, of course. And had to finish it up with the cutoff wheels. I've been seeing guys on Facebook with cutoff wheels coming through the face mask and stuff like that. Look, guys, if y'all drop these and they land on the blade, take it off. Don't use this, motherfucker. Don't use this over. If it drops and it lands like bow, bow, don't use it. For instance, like that. I don't think it probably broke, but that look look right here. You see that? That's from hitting the ground. Hitting the ground. It didn't break. But when they do break, that's how they explode. You grinding or you trying to use it for what it's not used for. Or you cutting and you got it, you got it in there like that. And it's slightly cocked. And say it catches on something. Or catches on. Ha! out. It explodes. Y'all drop them. Take them off. Put a new one on. Wear your safety glasses. Safety glasses. Face shields. I, I don't care. Put something on there. Put these on. I got these. They lift up. Got a clear protection right there. That ain't real thick, but that's something though. You know, I don't know where my little bug eyes are right there. They go. I mean, I use these sometimes. I'm because I'm cutting, so I'm grinding. I'm grinding the dough. You know, put something over your eyes. Something. I mean, if that thing is explodes, it's gonna hit my face. But you know. I need to invest in a face shield also, you know. Man, you gotta invest in your tools and stuff. Invest in your protective gear. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up now because uh, I'm about to go on home. And there. I'm gonna see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for the subscribers that take the time out to comment. Um, sometimes I know I don't comment right back, but it's no love lost though. Thank y'all. Yeah, so I know I haven't been putting a lot of mechanical stuff out, but we still at it. Been doing a little bit of flatbed. So we got that one. We got the other one on the other side over there. You can see that through the load. But yeah, so we still got it. We got it. Oh, girl, still. Oh, girl, did still performing, doing her job, doing what she do. But, you know, we just kind of get it in a flat bed a little bit, having some fun, enjoying life, doing what we want to do. Anyway, let me get back with y'all. Enjoy your weekend, enjoy your Sunday, enjoy your Saturday, Monday, whenever you watch this video, enjoy your day. Uh, I'm going to enjoy mine. I'm going to finish enjoying this Sunday. Go home to the wife and the baby. Enjoy them. And uh, we'll get back to it on Monday. After all, but we got to get that. Look, as press as I be, as press as I want to get it on the trailer, I'm pressed to get it off. It's like when them. 
When them ratchets go clank, 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 that shit goes cha ching, ching, ching. <laughs> yeah, no. Anyway, thanks for watching. We start rambling. Good old Sunday. Get back with y'all.